Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode of the Road to Max Damage, episode number eight. I can't believe it's been over an entire year of starting this series, and I'm so happy that I did start this series. In the last episode, we made a ton of gains, but in this episode, we make such an insane amount of gains. So stay tuned throughout the entire episode because we're going to be going over quite a lot of things that we have improved on on our character. So in the last episode, we did hit level 290. And like I said, the road does not stop there. We're going to continue leveling and our next goal set is going to be 295. And in this episode, we did hit level 291. To give context to some people out there, a leveling post level 290 is quite the grind. I'm getting anywhere from 0.2 to 0.3% per WAP, depending on how efficiently I do trains. Like I said before, in the last episode, the goal is going to be level 295 i don't have a time frame set for myself i'm just going to continue grinding continue training and whenever we get there we get there hopefully very soon there's going to be a level 290 boss that is going to be coming out in the new summer update in kms so hopefully level 295 is going to be worth the while so on top of getting the actual level gains themselves we did end up getting extremely lucky as you guys know, our party does clear extreme black mage every single month. And well, a Jenny badge did drop and we did end up winning the blink. Oh, oh it dropped, it dropped. Blink, 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 blink. I told you this tech never fell. No! I don't know why I have lost, man. This is fucking over. Please, please. Oh, 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 Jake, what? Jake, I, Jake, yeah. Jake, one, Jake, oh, one, Jake, Jake, one, Yo, yes! damn. This Jenny badge at the time puts me at about six set. So we are working our way there to getting to the almighty nine set pitch boss. After getting the Jenny badge a few weeks later, 30% off Star Force event was going on. We decided to try and 23 star our slime ring. In this series, it's all about trying to push the absolute limits to what damage we can achieve in Maple Story. So, of course, we're going to be pushing 23 stars on the items that we can. I wasn't really expecting much to happen in this 30% off. I didn't really think that I had enough spares to actually get to 23 stars. Uh, fortunately for me, we did end up hitting 23 stars on the slime ring, and it was absolutely insane come on hold hold <laughs> okay 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 value 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 Va oh. yo let's fucking go let's go I love trying to push the limits to absolutely everything in Maple Story. So we are going to be trying to 23 star our Sweetwater Pendant in the near future. So we are going to be running CPQ daily up until the next Shining Star Force. So some things in Maple Story you do plan and some things just kind of happen. As you guys know, we are getting a ton of event flames from every single event that we get. And we were black flaming our eye patch and we ended up hitting an absolutely insane flame. We hit 104 strength with 5% all stat on our eye patch so this is an awesome flame we will not be black flaming this anymore i do want to try and push all of my pitch boss flames extremely high but of course obviously with all the events that we're getting you're kind of just time gated by black flames and e flames so we'll just keep hoping for more flames in the shops to throw on the rest of our pitch boss items and the rest of our eternals when we do get them if you guys did watch the previous road to max damage episode i talked about our party progressing extreme Saren. And since that last episode, we have been running Extreme Saren weekly. Thankfully, on the 8th Extreme Saren clear, an emblem finally dropped, making it 88 total runs before ever seeing an emblem on this account. So, oh, but we've been breaking it. Does it work? I guess we should just all hit it. I hit it. I already whacked it. I think I'm we gonna all do hit the it. bow. Fuck it. Ah, oh, yes! Yo! Yo! Get, get that Let's shit! Go. Yup! Oh <laughs> my god! Let's go. go, bro! Yo. Oh my oh. god! Let's fucking yes. go! Yes! Oh, oh my god! god. The win attack! Yo! Yeah, Holy oh pug on I'd never seen one on any mules that I'd went on. I'd never seen one on my Adele ever. 
So this is the first emblem that I had ever seen and thankfully for me, I was getting prior in the party as everybody else had one. So this is a massive damage increase. My old emblem had 40% IED on it with 12% attack and 9% attack. So going from 40, 12, 9 to 13, 10, 10 was a massive increase for me. On top of getting the emblem, as you guys know, we have been trying to double prime our WSE for quite a long time. And on this latest cube sale, we did have a 130 bill. Unfortunately, when I cubed this emblem originally for three line attack, it cost me about 120 to 130 bill to actually roll three line. But fortunately, when the cube sale actually happened, we ended up rolling double prime attack in about 100 bills. So very, very fortunate that we rolled this pot on this emblem. Him, him dry. dry. Right. He a W mans, he a W mans, he a W mans, but he will be, he will be, uh, he will be used for the RNG. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Oh, Jacob King of Lucker, yo. Wait, I need to come. Uh, yo, that's crazy. He just got siphoned. That's crazy. You're welcome. Yo, no. No. Problem on my WSC. Yo. Let's sucked go. him dry. Oh, no. Oh, bro, hell right no. After the clip. That clip go crazy. Unfortunately, we are still about 1.3 T into our weapon without seeing double prime. And that's what this entire series is all about. Trying to push the boundaries of what damage you can achieve in Maple Story. So, of course, along the way, you're going to get unlucky with a few things. But long term, you will even out and you will hit that average. So, unfortunately did get quite unlucky with the weapon but fortunately we did end up getting very lucky with this emblem so on top of all the other gains that we did make as you guys know we have been running kalos now for almost an entire year and unfortunately as some of you may know we have not had any luck with actually star forcing the eternals we're about 0 for 7 right now and we are going to be getting our eighth eternal very very shortly and we are going to be star forcing it in the next few weeks oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god come on please oh. please fucking kidding me bro like you just oh, can't okay, make but although we haven't actually star force an eternal hat we did end up rolling an insane potential on our eternal hat we rolled triple prime minus four with 10 percent all stats. so i was extremely happy rolling this potential we did end up rolling a very good flame as well we had 126 with 42 decks, 5 attack, and 4% all stat. So it's going to be a settle for a very long time until I get more black flames to throw on this eternal hat. And this hat is fully finished until we can actually star force it. As a lot of you guys know, the biggest and most important gains in Maple Story as of right now is going to be your Hexa Matrix, aka your sixth job. And obviously, we farm quite a lot. So having guaranteed gains was really nice for me when new age hit we have currently maxed our hexa we are 30 origin 30 mastery 30 room boost 30 infinity boost 30 storm boost and we're going to be keeping legacy restoration at level 28 this is probably going to stay at level 28 for a very long time this is essentially maxed until the second mastery does come out so after all these gains we've gained quite a lot of damage in the last episode we showed that our culvert pr was 48k and in this episode we have now broke the 60k threshold in culvert this is without any eternals this is without a continuous four and this is without a black heart so we can definitely push above 70k and that's really what our next goal is going to be with the help of the event buffs that we have right now and potentially getting a continuous four and a black card to drop i 100 percent think that getting over 70k or even 75k by the end of this event may be doable but of course a lot of rng has to come into play it's really cool to see the progress that we've made from the start of the road to max damage to where we're at now and this is really why i started this series from the beginning to show every Everybody out there what you can achieve with min maxing your gear i've really been enjoying making this series and putting out these videos for you guys and there are plenty more gains to come in the future we're only getting started as you guys know we still want to push level 295 
we still need to get all of our eternals and of course the second mastery is going to be coming out so you guys know that we are going to be grinding this and we still have plenty of min maxing to go on all of our other items so look forward to the next road to max damage series i'm sure it will come with a ton of gains a ton of gains were made in this video so let's hope for an episode nine with just as many i hope you guys did enjoy this video and until the next one i will see you then take it easy peace